So that brings me to talking a little bit about infrastructure from code. And the whole idea of infrastructure from code is that you infer your application infrastructure or your cloud infrastructure from your application code. So let's say we go back to one of those previous examples or we just use ex Express as an example and you have like api.git um, and just like hello. Well basically at build time, the framework that you're using or the platform that you're using can inspect that code and say that I see that this is a HTTP GET request. What you really mean is that you want a Lambda to handle this request and it's sitting in, uh, sitting in front of or behind uh, API Gateway. Um, and it'll basically build all that for you. You didn't have to do anything extra to set up that infrastructure. Uh, I like to call infrastructure from code an abstraction, not a replacement for infrastructure as code. So on the left, you have um, the infrastructure as code. You have like Terraform, Pulumi, uh, CDK. Um, and the difference is that infrastructure from code, again, is just an abstraction on top of those things. So you can still use Pulumi, Terraform, but you don't have to. Like if all you need are the resources they provide for you, um, then you'll be just as effective. And the one that we're specifically going to take a look at is Nitric. What are the benefits of infrastructure from code? So again, it's self-provisioning infrastructure. It's basically all automated for you. You didn't have to do anything special to get that. You didn't have to write any Terraform or Pulumi. Um, portability across technologies and providers. So again, this is an abstraction. This is one of the areas where I think like uh, infrastructure from code falls short is they don't really provide abstractions on top of these cloud providers. So when you're building something in Pulumi, for example, you are very much saying, I am defining an API gateway for AWS. AWS um, or an API gateway for GCP. Um, and then again, uh, focusing on code, not infrastructure. So sh shrinking the amount of domains that we have to manage should allow us to be a little bit more effective. So Nitric, um, I actually coined the term Flutter for the back end, and uh, the Nitric team said that they were going to steal that because they really liked it. Um, it is a cloud-aware application framework. It is, like I think all of these minus Celeste, open source, um, investor-backed, 100% free, basically um, a bunch of back-end slash DevOps guys got together and said that we hate rewriting this over and over again. So they built this thing and they said we're going to make it open source and free. Um, and the idea here is you can learn once and write everywhere. So again, this is an abstraction that um, basically, you're just saying, I want an API, and then at build time you say, I want an API in GCP, or I want an API in AWS, and it abstracts away all that complexity. You just build that API once, and you can run it or write it everywhere.